Nice to meet you, Fit and uh, X Fit. What do I call you, brother? Just call me Fit, bro. How you doing today? I'm good, brother. I'm good. You know, um, I'm sorry. I'm a bit nervous because, um, as you can see, bald and you know. But I got a, th a few things to say, brother. Um, I, I don't know. Is there anything like before I say anything? Is there stuff that I shouldn't be saying? No cursing or nothing like that. Try to limit the cursing because this yes, is absolutely, this is YouTube. absolutely, absolutely. So, um, how do I say this? It's kind of long story. You want long or short, bro? What's what's going on? Tell me, tell me the preference. Like, what's what happened? Okay, so I'm gonna start off like this. I'm five foot four. I'm not even joking. If you want me to stand up, I'm bald. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. I'm, um, uh, I got one nostril, bro. Can't even breathe through it. Um, I lack a lot of confidence, bro. And it's yeah. been like it's been a long time since I've had a girlfriend. It's been like two years, three years actually. And I'm I don't know what to do with my life, bro. I got a terrible past. Terrible past. It's on the it's on the internet, bro, and it's hard to escape from it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Ter okay. So let's let's start with what the thing. <laughs> let's start with what we can control. You being five foot four, you can't control. I know, you, bro. You being bald. Let me see. The, let me see the back of your hair. Okay, you being bald and having the rest of your hair sit there is not. It's something you can control. So step number one: let's shave that off. Mm, right. If you're gonna be bald, be bald. Don't look right. like a grandpa. Right, right. All right. I get that. I get that. Can you afford? Can you afford uh, a, a hair transplant? Hair transplant? I mean, I'm going Turkey to get my nose done, bro. Cause that shit long. Look at that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. That shit. I mean, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, that thing is long. Um, okay. I didn't tell you something. Like, uh, and I'm. Not, I swear, my whole family. I'm not joking. I'm from Iraq. My background's Iraqi. So my mm -hmm. mom and dad are cousins. So I feel like that's what. And I'm not even trolling, bro. I'm literally being serious. My parents are cousins. So I, I think that's why my whole genetics is like this. So okay. I, there's nothing to escape from that. But for me, it's like confidence but the thing that's blocking me is like when i look at myself in the mirror it's just too hard you know and then when i tell them i can't lie from my past bro so i'll, I'll give you a little quote a short down i'm a i'm a uh, i was a big twi big time twitch streamer uh one of the biggest uh twitch uh, i think you know you see me before uh nah but i see people in the comments mentioning it so go ahead oh, okay, that's kind of embarrassing um so uh, I, I was a big time twitch streamer i used to have like five hundred thousand followers I went through a phase of uh, addiction, bro, uh, and uh, started stealing money from my viewers and stuff just to feed my gambling addiction. Um, not saying I'm an angel, but this was like two years. Today's actually the uh, two-year anniversary of my uh, me getting caught. So anyway, I uh, lost all my internet friends, remained keeping most of my friends in the real-life world. And yeah, man, it's just like if I meet someone, I have to let them know about my past. You know, mm -hmm. so what can I do? I mean, I know you might look at me and be like, damn, this guy, this bit, uh, like, you know, it's, it's not really good, but I don't know what to do, bro. Okay. So have you come to the terms and right your wrongs from the, the, the what you did wrong to people? Um, I don't know how you could say that. I mean, I won't say that because uh, there were two big streamers that paid off the people that I did bad to. Well, I stole. I'm just going to say it 100%. I'm not proud of it. I'm just saying it. Um, so so why didn't you pay them back? Why did why was there somebody else that paid them? <sighs> well, okay. So what happened was I went in debt. I was in debt of minus 300,000. Lost my streaming career and 300,000. They covered it off. They paid it off. You know, so I found a normal job. I started doing a normal job. I worked at an airport as a security. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I did message him. I was like, hey, I can start like paying you guys monthly and stuff. But yeah. They okay. Like so you have you ever given an apology? Because this is the thing about social media, right? Um, the people that follow you, there's a there's a level of attachment they have to you because they they follow you because they, they feel like they can trust you. That's why you got to be very careful as a content creator to always lead with integrity and honesty. I'm a 100%. big, big believer of that. Did, did you, have you ever gone back and apologized and said, Hey, I, I'm not asking you to forgive me. I'm just want to legitimately say that I'm sorry. Um, I'm a uh, to Go like, Oh, I've been streaming again and I'm blessed for that. So I've been, uh, I'm not here to promote. I'm so sorry. Um, and I, uh, you know, these people come back and stuff and watch. And I'm like, yo, uh, I appreciate you guys coming back. I'm sorry for what I did and stuff. 100%. Like, I actually feel have like... You, for them to public? Not just streaming. Have you, like, made a public... 
Like you should, you should. The the apology should be louder. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Than uh, the I than did. the act. Like you should be like because people people. It, it takes a long time to build a good reputation. It takes very, very short to ruin it. So when you ruin your reputation with people, it's going to be very, very hard for you to get it back. So you got to keep fighting to get it back and not just saying sorry, right? But doing things in the community to show that you actually are sorry. Right. Um, I've done countless things uh, uh, since I've came back. You know, I... Uh, it's, yeah. Um, like what? <laughs> um... um I've been giving back to my community. Uh, did like tournaments, uh, PUBG tournaments, giving back. Uh, okay, I mean you got to do that more frequently, bro. If you want, right, right. That's what I'm trying too. to do. Try, I've been setting plans. Uh, you know, uh, we're doing a, a a victim meetup where I'm meeting up a few like Ernst uh and Maybach and all that stuff. We're gonna do like I'm I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> sort some out. <bro. laughs> like I get that, bro. I'm 100. Trust me, it's not nice, and I'm never happy for what I did. And my past actions is disgusting. I, I always say I apologize, but for me, bro, I'm gonna be real. It's like no one should forgive me, and I'm not expecting anyone to forgive me. Yeah. Right now, I feel like I should just move forward. You know, the only way is just moving forward. Ain't that right? But but the thing is, that's not how human beings work, right? Moving forward without making your apology bigger than the act, people are just always gonna label you as that because. If if people listen, hear me out. If people trusted you enough to give you money, mm. if people trusted you enough to give you money, and they don't feel like you going above and beyond to show your remorse, you moving on is just a slap in the face. They're gonna just oh, be like, "Oh, look at that! Look at that scammer again, trying to take money from us, trying to you do it." Like you got to be, but okay, that's my suggestion. Now let's talk about what you can control, right? Right. I would say. If you want to get back in the media, you got to make your apology very loud. No, no, it's not about media. It's not about media. It's not. It's not about that. It's like my my. The reason why I'm here is because I'm saying like, what do I do? Like, if I op go to a woman, I gotta have to be honest and be honest, bro. Ain't no woman is gonna want to be with a guy that's his past is all over the internet, known as a right. scammer. You know. But but, but okay, I then you can be bald. Okay. Inbred. S -s listen, listen. <laughs> this is your reality. Embrace it. What you can do is make yourself as attractive as possible and don't try to hide it. If it if it comes up, you say, "Yeah, man, nobody's perfect." Like especially when it comes to women, they want to know that your past and your 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 shortcomings aren't a bigger deal to them than they are to you. Like she wants to know that you've moved past it for women specifically. But right. listen, what are you doing? What are you doing? To make yourself more attractive. I mean, no offense. Do you find me attractive? I mean, that's yeah. not enough. No. Mm, no, I don't think you're attractive. No. Nah, come on, bro. Look at you know what I say. I look like my idol, bro. Tupac. You know. No, you don't. You don't. You're not. I. I would not. I would not tell. I would not. I would not. I'm not gonna lie. When I give life maxing and looks maxing advice, I'm gonna be honest. You're you're bald, but you're bald with the hair at the back. All right. You got a full beard, but let me see the teeth. It's okay. The yeah. beard is covering up much British of your lip. Yeah. Like you got some pants on? Pants? Pants. Underwear? Un un underwear? Do you have shorts? I don't want to see underwear. Do you have? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got shorts. I got shorts. Okay. Got let's see. I got the... swag. I got swag, bro. Let's see. Take the shirt up. Let's see the. Turn the lights on in there, please. Take my shorts off. Shirt. Oh, shirt. Oh shit. Okay. You look like a kid. You look like you look like a kid, bro. The 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 chest is hit. Stop flexing, sir. Please, please. The 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 chest is super hairy, right? You look like a child. You said Wait, you already. Sorry, no, no offense. How does that make any sense? I've I've got chest hair. How does that make me look like a child? No, 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 no. I'm saying your your body looks like you you look like a child. Like you're 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 already short and you're skinny like smallish frame the hair does not make you look like a child that's not what i said don't put words in my mouth please uh, okay she, i said your hair you, you should shave the hair so your body you, can you tell shave. me to shave my hair my chest hair yes so you can oh, look more hell pregnant. no bro then then okay then how then don't oh, oh no no i'm don't. no like I'm, I'm here for advice i'm so sorry like no, <laughs> I'm saying you don't have to do it that's you can do whatever money. you want you can right, keep no. the hair you can right, keep right. the ball look. You can, I don't know, whatever you, I don't, I'm not forcing you to do anything. But if you want my help, I suggest you shave the hair 
you start going to the gym more consistently, you get a hair transplant, right? Hair transplant, okay. Don't. Keep the. Well, no, keep I'm, actually, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be. Right. <laughs> don't. Don't do what I'm telling you. Do whatever you want to do. All right. But if you want to be better, I suggest those are what you do. Okay. And then you just, you just embrace the fact that you have some, you had a pass or whatever, and that it's going to come up. Right. Try right. to find a girl who can look past that. Okay. okay man. It's, it's basically you saying like just confidence, but. Uh, Not just confidence. Be be a better version of you now. Be the best version that you can be of yourself now by getting in better shape, taking care of your looks. And if it comes up, you're honest about it. And then you look for a girl who can look past it.